Hello, this is Harry. In this video, we'll watch an Irish comedy, Life's a Breeze. Nan was an old-fashioned, nearly 80 years old lady, and she had five children. But the living conditions of the children were not very good. No one was willing to help their mother voluntarily, but there was something called sibling. The youngest son, Colum, was not so good. He didn't have a job, and couldn't find a girlfriend. He had lived with his mother for many years. So he was always laughed at by other brothers and sisters. Fortunately, Nan had a caring granddaughter, Emma, who often came to accompany her. Emma was just 13 years old. Her parents ran around all day to make money. Even their daughter's food was prepared. So Emma would go to grandma's house after school. One night, Colin paid Emma 20 euros to take her grandma to play outside the next day, it was best to come back later. It turned out that Nan's 80th birthday was coming. The children wanted to surprise their mother. He deliberately dismissed Nan to make a major renovation at home. They replaced all old furniture with new ones. They threw away all the useless things that Nan has saved for years and tidied up the room. When the two people came back at night, the house would be completely new. The children happily introduced their masterpieces to the old mother, but Nan didn't look very happy. When she saw her new bed, she was even more unhappy. The children were curious why their mother cared so much about the old mattress. Nan was shocked, claiming that her life savings were stored in the mattress. For more than 50 years, she had saved food for inspection, sold the garage and collected a lot of things with her retirement pension and the insurance of her dead husband. Now she had nearly 1 million euros. The children were dubious, but their mother's attitude didn't seem to be like joking. Just when some of them were about to leave for the mattress, they knew that Colmdid did not find a formal recycling company. Instead, he gave the garbage to a friend who collected the rubbish. They immediately rushed to the bar where the lad often had drinks. But he said that he had already sent the garbage to the nearby recycling station. When the recycling bin opened the next day, they still didn't find the mattress. According to the staff, the recycling station would send the garbage that cannot be recycled to the nearest landfill for disposal. The mother and children rushed to the landfill and searched for a day but still saw nothing. Nan analyzed that there were no mattresses in the new trash. It meant that the rubbish lad was probably lying. Mother's guess made Colum thoughtful. He found the man and asked. But the man argued that Colum had no right to inquire about his garbage disposal method. Colum was very anxious. He didn't hesitate to spend money to ask the man to tell him the whereabouts of the garbage. The cunning junk thought things were not that easy. He knew very well that Colum never cared about his mother if he threw something so valuable by mistake. So the man started to sit on the floor and ask for more money. Nan had lived for 80 years and she knew this kind of person very well. She berated her youngest son to shut up. She promised that the man would receive a satisfactory reward the next morning. Sure enough, when they just walked out, the man rushed to the place where he threw the garbage. Colum and others followed, only to find that there was no mother's old mattress. Five children who didn't care much about their mothers before were already anxious at this time. They marked all the landfills on the map, called one by one. They even began to discuss the matter of dividing the money as if the mother's money was for them. Nan was disappointed, even though she had known that her children would be selfish but she still couldn't accept the reality before her eyes. And Colum was so stupid to make the case publicly to get the money. On the radio, he offered 50,000 euros as a reward, letting the citizens who found the mattress contact him as soon as possible. Overnight, people all over the country knew that there were an old blue and white mattress for 1 million euros. Countless people flocked for this huge sum of money, and appeared crowded in every landfill. Various media followed up reports to look forward to the lucky one. Nan had become a hot public figure. According to survey network data, 91% of people were willing to receive only 50,000 rewards and return the mattress to the owner. The five children were ecstatic at the news. They were crazy to please their mother, hoping that they can divide more money. But after the party, everyone refused to pay for the expenses. Emma saw all this. Emma sympathized with grandma and hated the selfish behavior of the adults. No one ever asked Nan's opinion, just thought for their selfish desire, plotting to divide their mother's money. Soon, someone finally found the blue and white mattress. But there were only 670 euros. The children remained silent after hearing the news. Colum was the first to break the silence and spoke coldly to his mother. He scolded his old mother for having Alzheimer's. Everyone had been going around. The others didn't say anything to stop him, they were obviously angry. Nan retorted why he was angry with her for throwing away her money. Is that reasonable? The whole family abandoned the old lady. Only the kind Emma stayed to comfort her grandmother. The next day, Nan sat at the door waiting for Emma to come home from school. It turned out that she stayed up all night. After careful study, she found that the mattress in the news report was not the one she lost. Although the patterns of the two were the same, many details were not correct. The most obvious was her original mattress was printed AQP on the side. After that, the two embarked on a treasure hunt with a marked map. Now people thought that the old lady told a lie so no one would look for the mattress anymore. Emma asked grandma what she planned to do after finding the money. Grandma replied, spend it. The behavior of the two of them leaving early and returning late made the family very worried. They even secretly discussed letting their mother live in a nursing home. 
The reason turned out to be it was embarrassing to live with an old lady who had dementia and ran to the landfill all day. Nan accidentally heard the conversation, she was very upset. Once, Emma asked when she talked with her grandma, if there is a chance of rebirth, what do you plan to do? Nan replied, maybe you get a chance to live again, but to do all the things you really wanted to do even if they're the wrong things. The next day, when Emma took the bus home from school, she saw a tramp pushing an old mattress happily. He ran into an abandoned building. She followed and found that many homeless people would take old mattresses back to make beds. After searching, Emma actually found the one that Grandma said. Blue and white mattress with AQP printed on the side. At this time, a cough came from a room not far away. Emma went straight to the top of the building. When it got dark, she mustered up the courage to come back to where the mattress was placed. Before leaving, the kind-hearted Emma grabbed a handful of banknotes from the mattress and tucked into the tramp's shoes. Then she took the mattress downstairs and used the trolley to transport it to Grandma's house. On the way, Emma informed other family members and sent the mattress back to Grandma. But Nan felt ashamed and uneasy. She told her children that there were actually only a few hundred thousand in the mattress. The exaggeration was to make them take their words seriously. What a sad scene. The kind-hearted Emma couldn't bear to see Grandma sad. She gave all the credit for finding the mattress to Colm. But as soon as she entered the house, the other adults did not reflect on their attitude towards their mother. Focus on money, they discussed how to distribute their mother's life savings and celebrated this joyous occasion with champagne. The two of them, daughter and grandma, looked helplessly at the adults who fell into the eye of money. They silently walked out the door. No one noticed, Emma's school bag disappeared after coming out of the house. Maybe she secretly left a fortune for grandma. Everyone in this big family might secretly leave a sum of money for her grandmother, but she was embarrassed by this. She didn't see much hope, let alone any kind of affection. But Emma could still maintain the silt and untainted kindness in this environment this mentality was rare to be found. No wonder the old lady in her 80s liked to be with the girl in her early 10s to talk peacefully about life. Well, this video ends here. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, see you next time.